about the sugar berry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I let it rain, I clear it out. I let it rain, I clear it out. I let it rain, I clear it out. What's up, Glitter Angels? It's Viv, and today we're gonna be trying something new, and that is something I've never done before, and that is a mukbang. For those of you who are not familiar with those kinds of trends, it's when you like get a bunch of food plus a drink and you like talk about things on like what's going on. What's the hot gossip or what's the 411? What what are what are y'all listening to? <laughs> it's, it's similar to the Mrs. George's line in Mean Girls. Guys, what is the 411? What has everybody been up to? <laughs> it, it's a funny movie. So what I have in front of me that I'm mixing right now is a poke bowl from the Pokey Holly restaurant. Oh yeah, baby. Pokey Holly, please sponsor me. What it's got is some sushi rice, cucumber, avocado, and my spicy salmon and tuna, corn, and onions, and the temper crunch. Spicy mayo. So many of my favorite components in one bowl. It's amazing. Doesn't this look good or what? All right. First bite. Mmm. This is good, really. Mmm. It is good. And it also has my favorite avocado and green onions. This is like my absolute favorite lunch ever. Oh yeah, baby. Now I'm gonna start out with answering some questions that people have been asking me constantly on Instagram or any social media link. I get so many questions about like, whether it's like, how's life going? Pretty much any updates, really. Mm. A lot of people ha have been wondering how are you? Well, I'm good. Tired, but... <laughs> well, thanks for those who have been asking me how I'm doing. How are you guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and I also have a um, raspberry iced tea. My Another favorite. So as you get like deeper and deeper with the rice and everything, whoa. <laughs> like, there's a lot of your favorite ingredients every time you get a pokey bowl. Mm. And there's also soybeans in it too. I don't know if you sent me questions on my Instagram story or whatever, but I'm just gonna go for like the commonly asked ones like from what people have been asking me in mind. A lot of you have been requesting me to do like ASMRs or mukbangs and all that kind of stuff. Well, the mukbang that I'm doing right now is with my poke bowl, obviously. <laughs> At this poke restaurant that I went to, like, you can customize your own. Like, you just start off with, like, the base and your proteins, vegetables, and everything. So now for my next question, you're probably asking, like, what are the pros and cons of junior year in high school? Well, the pros is that you could join any activities you want and participate in almost any, in like prom or something. Um, cons is that dealing with responsibilities and conflicts is tough. Like, especially when you have like loads and loads of homework. Like, honestly, I feel bad for my friends, for those that are in a lot of advanced classes. Like, I feel really sorry for them. If you guys have advanced classes, you could let me know about that as well, because I personally, I personally don't. Like, they're just regular classes, pretty much, on my schedule. Now, about the um, event that I went to last night, how was it? Well, the event that I went to last night was uh, super duper fun. And if you haven't checked my vlog about that, it is going to be linked down in the description below so you can check it out. And how does it feel to be running into the Hables again. Honestly, I was super happy to reunite with them again after it's been like a few months ever since we last saw each other. Like it just feels like a whoa comeback. <laughs> I, I love comebacks. How about you guys? Now for next question, I'm 
any favorite K-pop songs at the moment. Well, right now it's um, Twice's Feel Special. I honestly could listen to um, Twice's Feel Special like all day, all the time, like pretty much almost every day. Now for my next part of this um, mukbang documentary, a lot of you are probably wondering like, what do I do after a long or stressful day? I pretty much check out my videos from my subscription feed or take a nap. Like after I like rest for about like 30 minutes or an hour or so, I feel like refreshed and recovered. Like especially on those days where I didn't get enough sleep. Yeah, that's true. The truth is that as another con of junior year, like you're gaining all this like awful stress weight or something. And what I do to fix that problem is well, honestly, what I do to fix any stress problems from school or whatever, what is going on. I always like to go to the Puzzle Box Dance Studio in Chicago. Well, pretty much K-pop dancing in general. It relieves my stress. And um, what are my pet peeves in general? To be honest, uh, my ultimate biggest pet peeve is just um, dealing with a conflict or a meeting whenever I'm trying to study for like a test or exam. Like there was this uh, one moment at school where I was like studying for an exam and then uh, another teacher just like walked in and asked me to like meet with her and I got so mad. <sighs> yeah, and that's annoying. That is why people call me the boss. <sighs> now for Korean dance. A lot of you have been asking if we're going to be performing at the MSI this year. Well, it turns out we're taking a break for this year. We're not gonna stop dancing as a group because I've been loving that ever since I was a tiny um, chiquita. <laughs> chiquita. And uh, in terms of reasons why you should join a um, diverse um, dance group, the reasons why you should join a diverse uh, K-pop class is that it's just a lot of fun and a great way to get some exercise especially if you've been sitting for a long time. Like being with people who are different from me is like so much fun and I could be dancing with them all day. For example, when I was dancing at the Puzzle Box dance studio, there were some people that were different of race or gender and it just feels great because it gives you a nice and comforting message. You're not alone. Like for Mint Crew, which are one of my faves because uh, I love how they spread like diversity and such. It just makes people want to do it and at least be a part of it, like just once or twice. Do you remember the time when I joined uh, them on their workshops? That was during th this past summer. So I'm almost done eating. <laughs> now for my next question, who do I relate to most in the WoW cast? To be honest, um, it usually depends on the situation, but mostly um, this is Havel. Well, it's just cause like, I get this feeling that we're connected somehow personally. Like we're both outgoing, both it, into singing and dancing. Sometimes I feel like I communicate too much, but she's 100% selective on what she says. We both get along very well perfectly. <laughs> like an attractive force. <laughs> okay, physics joke. If you don't want to laugh that, then <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Moving on. Any favorite classes from high school? Well, favorite and least favorite? All-time favorite is choir. Well, Sicilian, specifically. Intro to physics, even though it's hard. Algebra 2, dance, and Spanish. Least favorite? Um, English. Ugh, it, it's hard. Now for the next question. Do I miss the dancing with the other k-pop dance crews that I met. Well, to be honest, I really miss them. And I wish that I would like see them again at some point in time. However, with my busy schedule, I can't really like meet them often. <sighs> also, I'm sure most of you have been like curious about like any thoughts on new movies coming out. Well, what I've been hearing on the ads over and over is the movie Last Christmas. I don't know if I might watch it or not, but it, it sounded very interesting to me, so I might as well watch that. And I think there was another one about to come out this year. What movies are coming out? I should probably check. But I gotta tell you, 
my all-time favorite movies. Um, it's The Bros, which is a Korean movie, and um, Indiana Jones: Temple of Doom. <sighs> I, I don't know why. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, home with your potatoes. I'm crazy about them for obvious reasons. Why oh, I love this Pokeball so much, and I could eat this all day. Huh. Well, that was a good Pokeball. <laughs> Finished it. You know what sounds good after eating a, a big meal, whether it's a big lunch or anything? A K-pop dance workout. Another one. And you're probably wondering, like, Viv, really? Another K-pop dance workout? But you just did, didn't you? Well, yes. <laughs> but I think doing at least two times is much better than just doing it once, in my opinion. Those are pretty much the questions and updates that I can give you for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications. And don't forget to share it with your friends. I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you later. Have a great day, y'all. Toodles. Mwah. Mwah.